going to do my protein powder review. Um, I started taking protein powder last year when I did a fitness program. Um, I would say that, you know, your nutrition is the... I don't even know if it's 50-50. I don't know the percentage. But nutrition is really the next step that you need to take um, in terms of seeing results. Because I was exercising and I thought I was eating fairly well, but I really wasn't seeing significant results. So I did this fitness program last year. It was actually Fitness with Dotty. And basically, he, he cut out a lot of flour, cut out a lot of sugar. And then on top of that, we were told to take protein powder after a workout or immediately after a workout. So I think a combination of all of those things really helped you know, I have some abs sticking out at one point. Most of them are not there now. But it really does take your fitness to the next level. Um, disclaimer, I'm not a fitness expert. I'm just giving you my honest review. This isn't sponsored or anything. But I thought I would just upload the video. Because this is part of my Road to Crop Over series. And I'm just, you know, sharing with you my opinions on these. Because when I went online, I couldn't even find a review on Hexapro, especially not by a woman, not, not from a female, because I know a lot of females fear that, you know, like protein or working out too much is going to get you like really hench and like really buff and it, it's not. It's testosterone that usually takes fellas to the next level. Um, okay, so I will start with the designer way. This one cost $100, 100 Barbados dollars, by the way. Um, this is vanilla flavor, the taste. It was good because I think they changed the formula because the packaging and everything is different from the first time I bought it. So when I first bought it, it tasted really nice. Um, I believe it was eight ounces of water that you mix it with. And you can also mix it with milk, but it's better to just do it with water health-wise. Um, so yeah, everything was good. You just mix it, shake it, drink it, perfect. Um, in terms of the nutritional facts, this is 100 calories per serving. So this is one level scoop. 100 calories per serving. Total fat is 2 grams. Cholesterol is 60, 60 milligrams. Sodium, 60 milligrams. Potassium, 100 milligrams. Total carbs, 6 grams. Dietary fiber, 3 grams. Sugars, 2 grams. Protein, 18 grams. Um, so yeah, this was good but then they changed the formula somehow i believe it was less sugar it was less sugar um because it used to be either four or six grams so if someone we used to use it you can correct me but it was either four or six grams so when they reduced the sugar it really didn't taste as nice secondly it was really frothy like when you shake it up it was like that much layer of foam and I hate, I hate foam. My God, I hate foam. I know a lot of people like foam on their latte or in a Guinness or in a beer. I hate foam. I don't like how that feels on my top lip. Can you feel me? Like, mm. So that was a huge turn off for me. On top of that, I find that when I mix this, it leaves a lot of residue. Um... I, to be fair, I didn't have a shaker bottle before, but I do have a shaker bottle, not bottle now. So before I used to shake it in a bottle, it would have residue or the whole clumps would be stuck around inside the bottle. Um, but then once I got the shaker bottle, I realized it actually still leaves residue like in the bottom of the shaker cup. Even if I shake it very hard, it just used to clump at the bottom. So I used to have to take like a spoon and kind of rake it off and shake it. So it tends to clump up. And as you're getting towards the bottom of the bottle, you tend to find little lumps in here. So it clumps very easily. I still have about half in here. And I, I never went back after I started using the Hexapro. Um, my apologies with the lighting um, that it keeps changing every time I hold up the bottle. So my apologies for that. Um, yeah, so on to the Hexapro now. First of all, look at the size of these bottles. Both of these are 100 Barbados. This is 2 pounds. This is 3 pounds for $100. So, all right, this was already winning in my eyes. So, the bottle, this looks pretty serious. This looks serious. And even my sister was like, oh, what? 
Like, what is it? So, this one is $100. Flavor is cookies and cream. And let me tell you, even though this is just a protein powder, this tastes like, I sh this tastes like it's, it's, it shouldn't be doing me any good. It tastes exactly like cookies and cream. It tastes like, um... Hershey's cookies and cream that chocolate like blended up in a milkshake and I mix this one with water and it tastes like that um, The only thing I would say about it is actually too sweet. But I'm not a huge sweet tooth person I'm not one of those people who go crazy for like chocolate and cakes and pastries. No, I'm a food person I like my mayonnaise my cheese pizza Ooh, um, Butter So what I like about this it has this I think pattern is pending, but it has this design where you never lose your scoop. So it has a little ridge in there. You can see right there that you just put the scoop here so it won't go in, it won't fall in. Never lose your scoop. So, um, oh god, that sounds so nice. Anyways, focus. So, I'm going to go over the nutritional facts for this one now. Um, calories 170 um, calories from fat 25 total fat 3 grams cholesterol 50 grams total carbs 10 grams protein 25 grams um, calcium 30 sorry 300 milligrams iron 0.4 milligrams sodium 220 milligrams potassium 160 milligrams so compared to the designer way some of those I don't know if you've noticed, but are a little higher. Um, but I believe, for example, with calories, this is 170 versus uh, 100. Yeah, 100 calories for the designer way. But my thing with calories is, you know, at the end of the day, once you burn more calories than you consume, then, you know, calories, schmalories. Like, it doesn't really matter. I'm not saying go and eat a Big Mac, which is like, you know, 700 and something calories and then burn it off. Because you still have to think about the content because you're also getting a lot of carbs and a lot of fats and stuff like that with the Big Mac. Um, but in terms of a protein powder, the calories don't really bother me that much. Um, so yeah, I taste-wise, I definitely prefer this one. This one recommends um, 8 ounces of water with a heaped scoop. But I do it with 10 ounces of water with a level scoop because it's, like I said, it's too, personally, too sweet for me. And with that um, ratio, it tastes really good with me. Um, another thing that you can do with this that tastes really nice is if you mix this with almond milk and then you freeze it, but not super hard, just almost freeze it. So like leave it in there for maybe half an hour or so, depending on your freezer. It tastes like ice cream. My God. Woo! So, um, yes, I hope I really gave a fairly thorough review. If you have any questions that you want me to um, clarify, don't feel shy to ask. Um, it says here, okay, it has six proteins and it has eight hour release. Um, then it also has um, amino acids all listed off here. I don't see nothing about any amino acids on here. One last thing I want to add, this, the new formula makes me gassy, gives me ear, makes me belch and stuff like that at the end as well. Um, but this, um, this tends to give me gas because I was wondering like, what did I eat today that has my stomach like that. Um, so it doesn't send me to the bathroom, but it just makes me gassy like, with the new and improved designer way. So, um... My vote is this. I would definitely buy this again. I would try the other flavors. They have another one called Bite All Max called Isoflex. And that one, I believe, is 100 calories. So if calories is, you know, an issue for you, then I would recommend All Max with um, All Max Isoflex. And they have other flavors like peanut butter, um, vanilla, chocolate, stuff like that. But um, I hope that covers any i hope that covers the important points as usual if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, i'll also be showing like a before and after of the results of my road to crop over so you know keep up with the series and i'll talk to you guys later bye yeah. thank you thank you thank you far too kind uh, uh.